welcome. I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration. And this is the May energy update. For May, the energy frequency is questing. Okay, so questing has a feel to it like, you know, we're looking for something, we want something, we're kind of like open to discovering and it's coming from a really deep place within and um, the energy frequencies that are affecting us, there's um, like we call it, I call it the new paradigm and it's been coming for a while, but what's happening is it's the new world, new earth, new paradigm, and all these energies are working together for the entire universe, not just planet earth, but the entire universe is in a um, acceleration and the questing aspect of it, component of it, is also being amplified because of that energy frequency, because of the new paradigm energy. So when we look at the lightness that's presenting, think about it like this. You know, if you got a dark room and you have the door closed, and if you walked in and stood in there and closed the door, it would just be dark, okay? You wouldn't be able to see things. You wouldn't know what's in there. With the new paradigm, what's happening is the energy frequency would be like shining light into that dark room. So that dark room is no longer dark. There, In fact, when the room has more light, you can see everything in that room. So the new paradigm really is about exposing what is dark, what is in the unconscious, the subconscious, and it's about exposing the the darkness of the heart as well, meaning things like greed and prejudices and hatred and um, blaming and victimization. When we think about negative emotions, negative behaviors, things that don't really serve goodness for everyone, you know? So like, for example, the one percenters trying to take away people's rights and their powers and messing them up however they can, that's not for the good of everybody. That's for the good of the few chosen. Okay, so the new paradigm isn't about the chosen. It's about everyone. It's about the opportunity for everyone to wake up, to heal, to become who we truly are, which is love and light in the very core. Okay, you know how they said many times in any different religions, belief systems made in the image of God. Okay, well, people think, oh, it means like a man in a robe and a beard or, you know, whatever these misperceptions are of God. It isn't about that. God creates. That's the bottom line. God creates. We create. We just don't understand or realize or know that we create. We create constantly. We are creating from our subconscious. So, the wounding in there, the misperceptions in there, the causes carried over from past lives that create, recreate, you know, the same kind of behaviors, the same kind of wounding. What's happening is that light of the new paradigm shining onto us, onto the world, and the frequency of the earth as well is amping up, shifting, changing. You'll see, you know, lots of earth changes, you know, hurricanes and tornadoes and volcanoes and all the things that are happening that are natural disasters, natural things of the earth are amping up, okay, because of the purging, because of the new paradigm, okay? Yes, we got global warming. Yes, we have all of that, but there's a much bigger energy frequency happening than what, than what people understand or realize. So in the frequency of the new paradigm, every month throughout the entire year, there's a constant energy frequency bombarding us at a higher vibration, okay? The frequency is higher, it vibrates at a higher level, and what that does is it causes the subconscious to get wonky, to get stirred up, to get activated. And this is part of the divine plan. It needs to get activated in order for it to come to the surface so you will know what it is, so you can be done with it, clear it, heal it, and do whatever you can do for your own self so you can really begin to live and, and 
present yourself in that frequency of pure love and light. That's what it's really all about, okay? So the, uh, the energy of May, again, has that frequency of questing, okay? And remember other times we were like hiding or you know doing different things, but this is a quest. This is like that inner desire. It's also kind of like you know we're coming into this you know, into spring. We've got more. Uh, we are in spring. We've got more light happening. Flowers are blooming. Things are growing and expanding. So in our own selves, there there will be some kind of feeling like a desire to know something, to discover something, to be liberated from something, to end one's suffering, to make changes in your life that make you, that will feel better. You know, the frequency of the, the, any kind of stagnation and coming out of the, these other earlier months and, and the darkness that we've been in throughout the winter and, and even early spring, everything is shifting with that with that energy okay so just imagine a higher vibrational frequency literally just just rays rays of light coming into you coming through you remember frequency can literally penetrate your physical body it f- penetrates the physicality but it also starts to hit that subconscious and as that subconscious starts to get activated because of the light frequency the energy in the subconscious like I said earlier, it's going to get wonky, but it's going to start vibrating. When that vibration starts to happen, just imagine this. It's almost like almost like a volcano, okay? Not as intense, but just imagine a, l- a little volcano, not a big one. Just imagine that as an, in the ground, all that molten energy, all that fire burning, all that energy, it starts to, you know, it starts to activate and it starts to percolate. And what happens is it moves up and blows up. Okay, so in the subconscious, it's sort of the same. What's happening is the frequency of the light hitting the dark, energy gets a little wonky, starts to percolate. And what will happen is your life, remember, this is what's really important to remember. You are creating your life 100% from your subconscious, okay? If you have beliefs that you're unworthy, don't deserve, not enough, don't belong, not wanted, um, not loved, there's something wrong with you, you're broken, you're, you know, you're a victim, whatever your beliefs are, whatever the wounding is is in that's in there, that energy is, you know, that's how we draw to us the the opportunities is be through other, through other people, through events, situations, circumstances, and it helps to activate these places. So with the energy within, within our own subconscious, as that energy is like vibrating, What's happening, remember, our higher levels are working together to bring the perfect person, the perfect situations to hit that wounding, okay? I call it opportunity. Most people will call it bad, you know, something bad is happening. Why is this happening to me? You know, it's like, am I being punished? I'm being tortured, you know? But no, it's not about that. You are drawing it together so you can unravel the deep wounding that's in the subconscious. So what's going to be happening is, as this gets looser, looser, easier and easier to bring it to the surface you're going to have your soul partners doing your soul dancing together bring opportunities to you again situations circumstances that you might be feeling like this is not good this is bad why is this happening and what it's all about is to activate the wound so you can know it so you can literally come in know this wounding and heal it and be done with that particular issue. So in our questing, not not only is the subconscious being activated by the new paradigm, but the new paradigm is also activating within us the inner light, that pure, pure divine light that we actually are. And in that, there's a deep desire to truly be liberated, to truly be who we really are, okay? To stop the false stuff, stop you know the the ego stuff, the false self stuff, the misperceptions, the poor me, the victim. Okay, so just imagine if your inner light is getting also getting activated. Okay, and sitting on top of that is all that dark stuff, all that wounding. You know whether your mother didn't want you from the get go, or you grew up in environments where you were punished or hurt and begin to shut down and you know like this is what happens we get we shut down but what's happening now is all that energy just wants to be free 
and open so that you can shine the light, okay? We're really being asked now to shine our light. You can't shine your light if you got a bunch of wounding, misperceptions and beliefs, conclusions, poor me's, victimizations. There's no light, you're, you're covered up the light. You're not gonna feel that light. And again, the light of the new paradigm is activating your inner light, that core energy, divine frequency, love and light. Your desire to be free is being activated and that's the questing, the may is questing. So just imagine you have all this wounding, you know, victims, whatever, whatever that is, everybody's got stuff, okay? But deep inside, the truth of who you are is being awoken, awakened, waking up, and it just wants to be free. So you got from the inside, from your subconscious is pushing out into those wounded places. It's gonna push them more and more and more in, un, into the surface, into awareness. So it may not feel real good, okay? That's the thing, when your wounding's coming up and these misperceptions and the poor me's and the victim, when it's all coming up, it's gonna feel really bad, okay? But the good news is, is deeper inside, the true energy, the true essence of who you are is also waking up, expanding, okay? So what happens is your energy, your woundings being pushed to the surface through experiences, okay? Don't, don't be thinking it's just gonna be coming up and you're gonna be feeling it, which will happen, but it's gonna get activated through your interactions, through your life your everyday life, okay? So if that gets activated, but the good news is, is as you get activated and you become aware of a particular issue or a particular feeling or a particular belief that's not been serving you, and it comes into awareness, and let's say you do your inner work and you move through, then that energy is broken free and released. And then what's presenting is that true energy of your, your light, that true light that you are is now shining even brighter. And the good news about that is, this is so awesome. The more you change, the more you help change the world because when we hold our own light, it hits everybody else's light, your family, your friends, your coworkers, everyone that you are really connected to or interacting with will be affected by your light, okay? So we can, you know, help the world by facing ourselves, doing our own inner work and doing our own inner healing. So again, questing, we are questing to be free. We're questing to be liberated. We're asking deeper questions maybe than we've ever asked before. We're seeking perhaps in a different way than we've done before. Different opportunities presenting, different people presenting. So things are beginning to change in a really good way. Okay, but it's all a part of that divine plan unfolding. It's all about bringing the darkness to the light so we can be free. Free from misperceptions and conclusions and beliefs and realizing that we really do create our reality 100%. Okay, so think about the questing. What is it that you're desiring? What is it that you want? You know, kind of get clear like, hmm, I'd like to be free of this particular issue where I have social anxiety. I can't be in front of people. I can't be around people. Or, you know, healing that issue where you've been abused, whether it's mentally, physically, sexually abused, and it's shattered you and broken you, okay? You want to be freed from that. You want to be free from misperception that there's something wrong with you. You want to be free from feeling like you're just not enough. And you want to be free from feeling forsaken, okay? So whatever your stuff is, whatever your issues are, whatever your wounding is, it's going to be coming even more to the surface. The key is go through these places, go through these emotions by allowing yourself to surrender to the, the emotion, the feelings and going through the emotions that are coming up and doing it in a way where you're not controlling, you're not telling story. It's really about you have to become fully the emotion itself where nothing else exists. You know nothing but the emotion. That's how you unravel your emotional wounding, okay? By knowing it. Your soul wants to know it. That's how you do it. So this is the great opportunity, okay? The energies are working. Everything's working to help support all of this. And also, you know, as you witness the world, what's happening, this is another opportunity for you to go through some of your inner, inner uh, wounded places, 
whatever you're seeing in the world, whatever is affecting you, whatever your reaction is, rather than pointing the finger going, oh, they're doing that, that's happening, they shouldn't be doing da 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 No, you're the one feeling the, the emotion. Go through that and you'll be able to hold a different energy, a different frequency. You'll be able to hold uh, yourself in a state of pure love and light for everyone who's in suffering. And you won't be suffering, okay? That's their journey. They've agreed to have these experiences. It's all a soul agreement. And you start waking up to these higher truths and you won't be whipped around in the world like you have been, okay? So again, questing. May is questing. You're questing your liberation. You're questing to know yourself. You're questing to unravel and clear misperceptions, beliefs, conclusions, okay? You're questing to be liberated, to shine your own light, to dance your own dance, sing your own song, and bring the gift of you to the world, okay? So in helping you, to help you in this particular uh, unraveling, we really have some awesome, awesome group clearing. So on May 10th, we have this journeying back to the womb, and it's called Clearing Mom's Energy. This is people you have no idea. When you're in the womb, you're literally pulling in and feeling all of mom's energy. Everyone continues to hold mom's energy in them throughout their entire lives, unless they've actually done something to clear it out. I'm sure you've heard people say, oh, you're acting just like your mother. Look, you know, you're behaving like your mother, talking like your mother. Well, you are, okay? So get your mom's energy out. Get it all out. That's what that group thing is going to be about. Clear that out from the womb. Big one, okay? And then we also have one on May 24th, which is huge. Too broken to be fixed, okay? I had many times in my life when I thought it was totally broken, totally shattered, and... I know the feeling. So let's get these places healed so that you can shine your light and really share the gift of you, all right? So now I'm gonna do a little bit of an activation for the energy of questing. I'm actually going to activate the, um, remember I was saying earlier how the, the wounding energy is getting activated, you know, by the light is starting to get a little wonky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna intensify that. If you don't want it, don't watch, okay? <laughs> All right. All right, so here we go. I'm going to be doing that activation. I'm going to go right down into the subconscious. I'm not, not only am I going to go into the subconscious, I'm going to start act. I'm going to hit those first and second chakras and the heart, fourth chakra. So I'm going to be activating those areas, blasting those with the white flame. The intention is to activate the wounding, activate these places, misperceptions, conclusions, beliefs, where you got hurt, where you got shattered, broken, and destroyed you, kept you from really shining your light, being the great being that you really are. So first, you that white flame, blasting, blasting, blasting. Second chakra as well, blasting, white flame, white flame, white flame. Get it, heart chakra as well, activating, activating. There we go. Good, now into the subconscious. We're giving the go ahead now to start bringing deep, deep, deep core wounding to the surface. We start activating these energy frequencies, activating the emotions in the subconscious. Activating, activating, activating. Stop. There we go. Stop. The light, 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 light. Now all together, first, second, fourth chakra into the subconscious energy frequencies all blasting together. And releasing, 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 open, 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 activating, 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 giving the go ahead here for all deep core wanting to come to the surface to come move through so quickly, easily, gently, so that you can become the truth of who you are. Good, here we go, get the flow happening. Let it continue to flow up and out of the body. All righty, very cool. All right. That's May.